Hello and welcome to another beautiful day. It is Friday. And thank God it's Friday. It's time for Outnumbered, reaching you live and direct from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. My name is Ramsey Enoch, and of course, I have Anthonia Nwokolo. Good morning, Anthonia. Good morning, Ramsey. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good, good morning, morning Sadia. Good morning. Let me greet you first. And you look good. Thank you. You look good, too. Good morning, Good morning, Antonia. <laughs> well, happy world. Press, Press, Press Day, yeah. Freedom Day. I'm so excited. And happy World Press Freedom Day to all the journalists out there. Let's bring you to speed with the headlines for the day. Daily Trust is where we are starting from. We won't blame Buhari for our challenges. Shetima is the one saying that. Details on page 10 of the Daily Trust newspaper. Then Bandit Kill 17. Adopt five in Kaduna Sokoto community. All right, uh, the big story from the Daily Trust newspaper says a repentant Boko Haram members invade police station in Borono. Then some writers to that story. The first writer says attack immigration and the LEA checkpoints. Second writer will repel them. Police is the one saying that. Another one says no comment for now. Borno government said they don't have anything to say as far as this invasion is concerned. Then the last rider, it calls for review of the radicalization program. Experts are the one adding their voice to this incident. As a matter of fact, details on page four of the Daily Trust newspaper. And finally, from the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, Press Freedom Day. That's the kicker. NGE frowns at abusive lawsuit against journalists. I think um, anything, if there's anything journalists are begging for today is that they should allow them to carry out their duties, all right, correctly. Objective, the fairness, the objectivity, diligence. and of course, every other balancing that they need to do. If, they, if it doesn't favor you, then just accept it like that because that's... What the practice yeah, the press is, is all the about. The, the press society. is the watchdog yeah, of the so. society. So they need to make it come up the way it is. Over to you, Antonia. All right. Thank you, Ramsey. On the Vanguard newspaper this morning, um, the first headline will be taking NSA or that's enforcement of cyber crime law. That's on page eight. The big story here says minimum wage. That's the kicker of the story. Governors working on what is payable. This is coming from the NGF and the details of that's on page five. We have some riders underneath this headline. The first one says... 37 member tripartite committee is still consulting and then assures of looking into remuneration of state judicial officers, infrastructure of courts. Labor justifies 615,000 naira wage demand, gives breakdown. And uh, finally, counters government on May 1st commencement date for new minimum wage. Moving away from that, press freedom crucial to democracy, good governance. This is coming from the NGE and that's on page 8. And uh, resident doctors protest shortage of manpower in all that's in Kogi State. That's on page 14. And finally from the Vanguard newspaper, petrol scarcity, long queues linger despite federal government's assurances and that's on page 8. Coming to work every day we see long queues at the different filling stations Station. despite the NMPC saying that uh, there's stock on ground no, I don't think there's any stock on ground yet. they say there's the stock on ground then they should let it out they gave yes. us an ultimatum that by Wednesday the queues were going to disappear and, and, today's Friday, and today is Friday. The queue, the queue is still, still there. there. It's still getting longer. I, I'm, I, I, well, this up. is making Nigerians not to even believe in these people anymore because they say things and they do the opposite. And the cost of transportation is on the rise. It's on the rise. Over to you, Sadatu, for the next newspaper. And looking at the nation newspaper, we have um, new trees to Olubadon as kingmakers Ladoja agree. And the sub writer there says, intrigue keeps Olakuleon waiting. Police parade mastermind of Kaduna Abuja train attack that could be that would be found on page five of the nation newspaper. Binance chief money laundry trial store that could be found on page six of the nation newspaper and moving on to the big story states we pay only sustainable minimum wage says governors do you think this is going to sit well with the labor well i, I think um labor may still want to press like someone said on the review yesterday my guest said well maybe they are trying to get a, a threshold anyhow it may not be 615,000 per se, but then I'm Physically, thinking I'm thinking states will pay based on the level of revenue they generate. You understand? Mm -hmm. So uh, like 
Some states may be paying more, depending on the governor and how the government wants it. But then, I'm not sure if... But I like if, the fact if, that if, the governors are actually coming out yes, to say this. Yes, Because so it's but not it's a not situation... Just saying, oh, yeah, it's not just saying, yes, it's by doing it's it. It's by doing and it. And it's, it's not a situation where the NLC says something. So this is to, this is showing that they actually heard what ha, yes. the NLC said. And they, it, it appears they, they, they have it in mind. It. Yes, they have it in mind. All right, so let's move on to, on to the subrider. Subnational to adopt justice justice sector summit resolution, and that would be found on the front page of the national newspaper. And moving on, we have petrol scarcity persist in city. That will be found on the page four of the nation newspaper, and that will, that's all we have on the nation newspaper. All right, let's take a look at the Punch newspaper for this morning. The first headline above the header says, "As six hundred and fifteen thousand naira pay, governors demand sustainable minimum wage. The federal government wants saboteurs as generation rises to four thousand. 800 megawatts. Details read on page 22. Then the big story from the Punch newspaper this morning says, Fuel supply, that's the kicker. 9,000 marketers may lose licenses. All right? 9,000 marketers may lose licenses. If you want to know why they may lose their licenses, just pick the Punch newspaper to write to that story. Ipman begs NMD. PRA, NNPC, not to the list operators from sales portal to avoid fuel crisis. We're having too much crisis as far as fuel supply is concerned right now. So there shouldn't be more. Even if they want to do this, they should know when to do it because proper timing is very good. Don't do what will add more uh, to the suffering of Nigerians right now. The second writer says accused persist as more filling stations open for sale. Pump price drops marginally. And uh, that's from the Punch newspaper. Then finally from the Punch newspaper this morning, please stumble on drug den after Lagos market fracas. And details is on page five of the Punch newspaper this morning. That's going to be the size of our headlines this morning from here. Well, we're going on a quick break. After this break, we'll return and we'll talk about the repentant Boko Haram members who invaded the PlayStation in Borno State. Don't go nowhere. We'll return after this break. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back from that break. It is still at numbered live on your screen right here from the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. Uweleke TV. And of course, uh, as it is right now, we said we'll return from this break and talk to you about the repentant Boko Haram members who invaded the PlayStation in Borno State. Some questions on my mind right now. First of all, who ascertained their repentance? And secondly, and secondly, the devil repents. <laughs> you're the one asking the second question. <laughs> yes, I'm asking. My the second devil question repents. is why would the state government said they have no comment yes. for now? That means there's something fishy. All right, because if anything happens in the states, we feel the the the, the police say they repel the 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 invasion. And now the state government is saying they don't have any comment for now. When are they going to have comment? I think the first thing they would have done is that, well, there was an attack or there was no attack. And this is who is behind the attack and who is not behind the attack. Everyone should go about their normal businesses. Because right now, people will be scared. Because you say these people are repented and they are carrying out this act again after telling Nigerians that they are repented and they might have integrated into the society after the repentance, meaning they may have even recruited more Boko Haram members at the period that they got integrated into the society. So, Anthony, as it is right now, looking at the whole scenario, what's in your mind? What do you think? I have a lot of questions like you do, uh, looking at everything happening because... Like you mentioned, who has attained their repentance? Mm -hmm. And now seeing they invaded the police station, that story also carried that they they, they escaped with about 20 uh, Boko Haram, Haram members that were also detained in that police station. So this poses a that great means they threat. they came on a rescue mission. <laughs> yes. 
He came on a rescue that's mission. Like the perfect, that's like the perfect <laughs> way to describe it. Like a res- to rescue their, their, fellow, member. their members. Exactly. So that goes to show that they were not actually repentant. Repented. They were not actually repentant. Okay. And uh, how we quite the government saying they don't have any comment on this matter is really not, it's not good at all. Because mm-hmm. now the confidence of the people, I can imagine how people living around that police station, how they, they had to literally be in their hands because from the invasion, they don't know what, what these people are going to do next. And under that story, we have a writer that says they also attacked the NDLEA immigration office and all of that. So this goes to show that that uh, community is not even safe. When they attacked all this place, all this law enforcement, what were they actually doing? Okay, you've Does not that heard. Mean they are not, they are not, not heard. properly equipped. Yes, I need to let, know. Let me ask you a question. Okay. It means you didn't hear that terrorists sat in the military. military. <laughs> See. I saw that headline last week. <laughs> I've not heard the terrorists you sat. Me. It the way you la- the it was in one paper. Yeah. It was actually in one Sometime paper. One of the papers week, yeah. sometimes last week okay. that terrorists no, sacked uh, bandits, sacked bandits mili- sacked military, military camp. camp. And I was like, what? How, how did it happen? Military camp. Is it that they are not properly equipped or what? That's the question, same question so Nigerians are asking. This brings to a lot of things. Uh, our security uh, organizations, them being properly equipped, yes. and also rehabilitation for those uh, persons that they claim to be repentant, because we cannot truly tell Just if they are like actually repentant. Just like I said, repentant. the devil cannot repent. They need to know that this said Boko Haram, before they became Boko Haram members, they were re-educated by let's say they are sponsors we 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 were told that um one man um freedom fighter is another man terrorist in this um um in this state we can say these people are not our freedom fighters but they are our terrorists they are terrorizing us they are making life miserable for some people and if such people come out to tell you that oh i have repented from being a boko haram you need to know that you have to re-educate them you have to re-educate them back because they've been edu- re-educated by their sponsor. Okay, you have to do this to get money. You need to do this for this. This is what you have to do. So they are used to it. You just can't accept people that they said that I have repented. No, they're, they're, all right. they're showing us the signs of the repentance. Yes, they're, they're uh, all right. Repentance. The devil doesn't repent. If the devil repented, definitely. Well, Sadiat is actually hammering on the fact that the, um, devil, does the devil does not repent. I don't know who is the devil in this case now. But as it is right now, before you at least pronounce someone repentant, you should know that this person have actually repented. And even after the repentance, there is need for rehabilitation. As properly a matter of fact, trained. as, uh, as it is right now, I think of the federal government and this administration should do everything to curb insecurity. Because one of the things that Nigerians were actually looking up to when this administration came up was how to curb insecurity in Nigeria. So if we keep hearing things like this, it is not encouraging. This is going to be the size of the big story on Outnumbered today. It's so good that you are there. Well, from me, I want to say do everything you can do to protect yourself. And once again, happy World Press Freedom Day to all journalists out there. Happy World Press Freedom Day. Happy World Press Freedom Day. Because we know there is no freedom like that just oh, like that yeah. oh, so it's clear on the paper that we just read now so yeah, like press that. freedom is actually very crucial well, and journalists over the years have faced a lot of uh backlash unlawful detention and their stories be scrapped off papers closure of uh and their lives media are houses yes yeah, some, no some have been killed some have been killed and all right i think because of our lot. time let's just call it a wrap here because of our time we'll be with you again same time same station next week. My name is Ramsey Enoch. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye for now.